Hill Road Trip finds the Warriors in the second city in Chicago at the United Center. Brought to you by Mercedes Benz. The Warriors. 25 points, I think. Oh, that must be his career high. No, it's 29. And he got it. Not this year, but he did. Over, everyone's overplaying right now. Overplaying the ball. Clay nearly knocked it away. Lopez shot clock at three. And he went to hammer it down. His block, if we can get it when he lands. Oh, all his weight came on that. The beginning of a 2 0 game. They tops it. Rails the three. Yeah, they've got to play on logically, emotionally. It was, it was awful. Lopez go. rolling him go. again. So, Robin Lopez, two dunks early. I think that, that trade helped Minnesota as you see what they're doing this year. But you get Zach Levine, Chris Dunn, and uh, another player named Marketing. Mr. Curry. Pulled it back up and. Hoiper's got them playing very well. Good friends with Steve Kerr. Since Steve was here in Chicago so long. Oh, Zaza, that was a number. See the quickness of Levine. And they find Holiday, the open shooter. Well, not only did but that's all he needed, and he was gone. They have a little fade away, and Faye Thompson is just a machine. Jump shooter ever. Done. That was nicely done, setting up marketing. This team is going to be there. Oh, colleges in the United States and said, look, I, I, I got a kid that could be special. As Chris Dunn flips it in and draws the play split the free throws, marketing that, missing there. That, to me, that's the most incredible thing. This is a nice move. Come on, Looney down the lane. Well, Looney on this. Very appropriate. You've got Houston waiting. You've had this great road trip. You've got the, the record away from home and marketing getting the three. About Covington in Philadelphia, undrafted player is on the list. Javale McGee getting the playing time and a beautiful screen as Steph hit. Valentine's a little smaller than Draymond, but you saw a rebound. You see a shot. He can defend. Ball for three, and Javale McGee, nice strong rebound, and then the hammer. Yeah, Valentine lost his balance. Out a missed free throw and lay it in. And this is an ugly end of this quarter. It's deflected away by Meritich, and Nwabu gets a layup. They're not rebounding and boxing out. They're putting a million people on the foul line as Levine flips it in. Steal. You got to move with the offensive player. That's exactly what he did as he moves to the hoop. Stay between him and the ball. David West will draw the foul. He felt poor. Beautifully done. He did it just as I'd said a couple times. He was perfect. And Clay, a little step around, and the fellow and Pomona, the two Cal Polys. Heretics the trail three. It cannot give him any space. When College Hoiberg used to run it that way, there's done again. That's the second great steal. And Levine with the hammer. Chris Dunn is at two from Durant, unable to finish. Miritich runs to the line. <laughs> fouled. And he's trying to get fouled again. He was trying to accentuate that, but he found Clay instead. That's he a heads up play. He, he I like him a lot. Calls his own number. And Chris Dunn's team fouls. You don't leave the three point shooter, so they were playing it just like Houston does. And now about Dunn inside. Deep, but already just running back. I don't know anybody that can make Holiday keeping it alive. And KD defending the rim. So they go back and forth with no productivity until Curry flips it up and in. Now they're working the ball a little bit more. Hoyberg got off the bench and they get this. Steve Kerr's going to use a timeout. He's very fast. Here, our attack. Clay had it knocked away. Warriors turn it over again. Valentine three. Turnovers. Why? We giving up inside points. Turnovers have just, and we talk about that all the time. It gets to be trite and happy. But Steve the ball. Final 30 ticks of the first half. There's a good look. And Clay 
And it's a perfect out of bounds play because Looney said a nice half asking how can you neutralize those and limit what they want to do offensively? And JC said we have to take care of the ball. Eight turnovers led to 17 points for Chicago. We also noticed zone on the inside. He did try to force it, he got stopped. And he just lost it from where he was. Oh, this could be a good sign. If Clay yeah. really starts to get rolling. Right now I'd look for Clay again. He's trailing the play. Let's see. There it is. And perfectly done. And perfectly in. Jim Barnett's doing plus. Just steps in. Well, the beauty is Steph saw that. Zaza saw it. Clay saw it. And that's what happens when you play together so much. And Out of the lane. Clay. He's going to try to get it back. No, well, they got it here. And Steph will warm up three. He's so surprised he hit. That's too beneficial for Chicago. He'll improve. He's three of ten shooting. He no, can he can stick, defend. He, I'll tell you what, he can stick with the guy. Oh, that's not oh, Durant. I'll tell you what, he can get that shot any time that he wants. I mean, if Crawford came as a fan tonight. The long-time phenomenal NBA referee as Steph hit the three, who lives here in Chicago, uh, between the legs and the screen. But Lopez bothered Steph enough. They're having fun now. Oh, man. I'm telling you, they're having Here's fun. Here's another three. They're, they're you know, they, they got through the Portis Miritich thing, which definitely was a problem in the locker room. Jared Grant. Jared Grant finally brought the Irish to the Elite Eight a couple times. Grant finding the call. What a great cut. What a beautiful. And yeah, Nick Young got beaten inside. Ball side, he's away from the ball. Portis a little show and go. Bobby Portis could score. You know, you said that the first. Are making him play harder. And Young passed that shot up nicely. And he got it back. See, that's more yeah. basketball. Give it up. Move without the ball. Did the Bulls. Clay Thompson, battling that home. And I heard him talk about it, and here it is. The Warriors, he said, have a nasty habit of taking their foot off the gas pedal. And they've opened up this quarter. 19-point lead is at a dozen right now. And Miritich makes it a single-digit ball game. He loves it. There you go. He could be the protector. This is a four shot, but he might get it. And Clay does. He's feeling it. Clay's got all the time. No. Nope. You know, on the road, you're not playing well. The other team's kind of giving it to you a little bit. You got to play through it. Clay Thompson out of the corner. Three's in a row. But coming to the scorer's table, Curry and Durant. And done from deep. This kid's point guard. Yes, he is. He's got long arms. That's why he can disrupt you defensively. And Warriors, whenever they get unsettled, tree this year. Livingston, the swipe down low, he made yeah. You should see him after the games. They go ride the bike for another hour afterwards. Nice pull up. And Pat McCall. Boy, I'd like to see more of that from him. They need players playing at their optimal level in the playoffs. And Patrick McCall hasn't reached his optimal level yet. The pressure on, and don't turn it over. And Nawaba's got a steal and another. Like a three again. Did he beat a big man off the dribble? No. And he has it stolen. Nope. And Dunn's got a freebie. And he got a five-point game. Dunn held on. He got taken from the side, but no one. Dunn did this all oh, himself. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Oh, man. The way these guys have been scoring in times and the runs they've had. Durant into the lane, flips it in, and draws the net. That's a great stat to in, have. In the fourth. I'd like that. Marking in, it's a three. Boy, that's so nice. It's still Chicago ball. Holiday for three. And then finally tipped in by Meritage. Marking in. Looney flying at him and challenged that three nicely. He didn't let Marking in beat him, Jim. He was two of seven on threes and only had 11 tonight. The Warriors put three players in double figures. I'll let you guess who they were. Steph Clay and Durant. And so now, 37 wins for the Dubs against nine.